Oh man, that looks nice. I'm pleased with that. Yeah, lovely. So I'll give it a quick sand once they're both done. Give it a coat of oil and they'll be done. Just right, that is both doors done. Glass fitted. <laughs> That's nice. Nice feeling to get that done. Looks good as well. So this door wasn't actually dry when I uh, when I installed them. They're still pretty damp wood, so I didn't have any dry wood. It hasn't moved too much, which is nice. That's because it's nice um, uh, quarter sawn, mostly at least timber, and it didn't move a lot. So just going to give it a bit of a coat of some oil, just spruce it up a bit. Right, so that is one set of windows down. They've closed, I think they look good. There you go. One set of windows down. Oh, way too bright. Come on, come on camera, adjust. Ah, there we go. Right, off to work. I don't know if you can see, I got these splodges on my camera, destroyed my lens, plasma table shot a load of uh, sparks at it, I didn't have a cover on it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new lens at some point, but that's what these splodges are. But yeah, it's really windy today, but I'm gonna carry on with the windows if I can. But yeah, I gotta be careful. Wind turbines are going good. Workshop doors looking good. Oil's all soaked in. Ha, oh, don't they look cool? Yeah, wind turbine's going for it. I'm really glad, wait, really glad I got that working because that has been, on days like today, very, very useful. Oh, that's nice as well. Nice and quiet. When I come in. Ah, oh, lovely. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, sorry about those splodges. Can't do anything about it. Right, I think I'm going to do a bit of work on that window there. Right, just going to cut some batten for the window frames to sit the windows against. Wind turbine project started, as you can see, which is quite exciting. Uh, where's my other one of these gone?
really windy today, which is really bad for filming, but we really need the power, so I'm pleased about it. Stand back and see if that looks straight. Hang on. Hey everyone, so uh, still working on the windows out, just in the trims on the outside. Still really, really windy though, so plenty of power coming in. It's sunny as well. Um, but yeah, hard to film for out there. But yeah, I'll go out and show you. It's gonna be bright. Wah. Yeah, the old wind turbine's going. Doors look good, now the oil's all sunk in. Alright, let's get up here. Jesus. Clean up. Right, morning everyone. So today we're gonna work on this big window. Be nice to get this one done. Yeah, just so get the boarding off, cleaned up a bit. Good. Hello, puss. What are you doing? Are you hiding? Ah. Uh... Right, so as you can see, a bit messy around here. I haven't been around here in a while. So uh, all this stuff I rested here because the plaster was soaking wet. We did it late in the year and it was getting driving rain and stuff. So I can clear all that away now, which is nice. So yeah, starting to get to the point where I can actually get things sort of... Uh, Tidied up and, and finished. But yeah, let's concentrate on this window for now. Come back, come back. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice view. Ah, oh, look at that. Just in time. Posing. Nice view of the trees and a bit of a. Yeah, ah, oh, lovely. Hey puss, <laughs> you big tiger, yeah just right perfect timing girl, well done, right on cue. A lot of you are probably wondering why uh, why the windows don't open. Uh, the main reason is is that it adds an enormous amount of work to a window to make it open. And in this instance, I don't need them to open. I've got currently the lower door is open, and uh, when the lower door is open and the top door is open, there's this amazing through draft that comes up the stairs, and uh, there's just no need to have opening windows. So it's just not worth the extra work for this. Because there's plenty of airflow. I haven't been round there <laughs> for ages and just realised I got all mess around there. 
So that needs sorted out. Right, quite pleased with how this is going. It's quite a difficult thing to do to make a window that shape that's going around a curve. And uh, it does fit. So that is good. I'm pleased with that. Right, just shape this bit of wood. Just table sawed. So put a, the angle that's here on the outside and the inside. And then match that angle to that angle. A lot of angles, but it fits nice. So just need to put some tape on that, and then I'll screw through the centre. Hold that like we do on the other ones. All right, getting there with this now. It's taking a while. But this is scrap rubber from the um, from the roof. And um, it's going to stay like that for now, and then because this one needs plastering still, once I've got some lime mixed up, I'm going to push this in here, put some stones or some slate, and then lime plaster it all in. There's no point in me mixing that up now, although I'd like to finish it. No point in mixing just for that when I've got to do a whole coat of plaster anyway, so do that then. Right, last piece going in, really annoyingly, is I didn't have a piece long enough, so I'm putting a little join in it. Oh, it's a tiny bit too tight. Uh, I've had enough of doing it for today anyway, so that'll do. Uh, I'm having a bit of a mental battle with this, I have to say. Just want to get it done, have the workshop finished now. Right, that one's done. Pleased about that. Bit of a battle today, but yeah, glad it's done. Looks cool from the inside. Uh, I'll clean them all to get all the stickers off once they're all done. Yeah, looking good. Oh, yeah. So it's nice in there now that the old wind turbine's coming on. Yeah, we've got a window. Very nice. Just uh, clean up all my crap outside and then we'll have a nice view. But yeah, sorted. Right, morning everyone. So, uh, as you can see, I've exposed the middle window. So, I'm going to start doing that today. It's going to take a while because it's uh, quite a complicated thing to do. Because not only is it curved at the top, it also goes round a curve. I have no idea how I'm going to do it yet. I'm just going to... Well, I've got, got a sort of plan, but I don't know how I'm going to put that into action. I really don't. It'll be hard to film, but I'll give it my best shot. But yeah. See if we can uh, make something for that. Right, I'm having a little think about how I'm going to do this here because we've got this, this is going to be the centre 
And then we have two arches coming into the sides of here and then down. And now that is a really, really very challenging thing to make with um, like mortises and tenons. And I'm under a bit of time constraint because I've got so much to do. I'm contemplating having butt joints and then cutting out nice metal plates on my plasma cutter. I think it will look, I mean, actually probably nicer because the contrast in these really nice curves and these metal plates. So I'm kind of tempted to have a go at that because it means I'll be able to make it all in place. You know, I'll be able to just put fit stuff, two joins, line it up, you know, get them all butted up without having to take into account mortise and tenons at the same time, which is going to make it a lot easier to do, but still be really cool. So I think we're going to go down that route because I'm looking at like four or five days work I would have thought to do this in all mortise and tenons because um, it's so complex and I have to make patterns and jigs and everything. So yeah, let's do that. Something different. Right, just cut some rough curves into these. Um, yeah, these are some bits of oak harvested from the woodland. They were uh, wind blown, fell down in a storm. I milled it a good few years ago. Most of it went into the stairs, but I saved a few bits for this job because they had a bit of a curve to them already. But yeah, my bandsaw was way undersized for work like this. Filming windows is really tricky because of the light. But yeah, so that's how it sits. Then there's going to be a Whoa, windy. Uh, there's going to be a big steel plate over that. So now, oh no. trace this line. There. Right, there we go. I'll put that bit of wood behind there. 
and actually film it so you can actually see something. But yeah, <laughs> it looks good, right? So I just need to see if that's going to fit in there. It looks like it's going to fit nice and tight, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'll just about get that in there. I mean, it'll be tight, though. I don't know if it's worth taking a little bit off of it. Right, let's get this in. This will go now. Be nice and tight. Still going to do the metal brackets, though, because I think it's going to look cool. Even though this is definitely sufficient. This is the way now. Tell you what, it's a real treat to work with a nice bit of oak rather than just larch. But yeah, came out pretty well. It's only a butt joint, and I plan on putting like a nice little metal thing to hold it. It's just a butt joint. Normally, I'd mortise and ten in it, but it's so difficult. You've got to be a real pro to get all this to line up with that. Scribe that in there, you know, because that's a scribe. It's not a perfect scribe fit, but it is a scribe fit. You know, you can hardly see any daylight through, even though it's rough rock. Yeah, it takes a lot to do that. I'm not that good of a woodworker. So yeah, butt joint, glue, and then I'm going to put these little, nice little decorative plates around here probably. Come up with a nice design. Yeah, look good. Right, that is looking really good. I'm well pleased with that. Yeah, I'm, I was sort of tempted just to get these done and just to rush that a little bit. But yeah, worthwhile spending the time because it's kind of a centerpiece of the workshop and uh, it needed to look nice. And it does, it definitely does. <laughs> yeah, looking cool. So I shall let the glue dry and we'll put glass in it tomorrow. Actually, no, we won't put glass in it tomorrow. We're not going to take delivery of pipe on a hydro job tomorrow. So we'll do it on Wednesday. Right, ordered it up just for a day in case it chucks it down. And a good opportunity to show you it a bit better. So yeah, I need to put something along here as well. It'll we'll join into there somewhere. And then fit the glass. But yeah, looks cool. I am a pretty good maker of things, but I tell you one thing, I am a messy worker. But I've got to get better at keeping tidy. Look at the state of it. <laughs> right, morning everyone. It's a pretty miserable old day out. Check it out. At the old windows. Can't even see past the hedge. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just, uh, I've just done some drawings for these brackets that we're going to put on here. So I'm going to have done some like blacksmith design brackets that are going to go on here, cover up these joins a little bit, and strengthen it because they're just butt joints. But yeah, everything's fine. It rained a bit, no leaks, so that's good. That one, I still haven't tidied up all my mess out there, but I'll get around to that. Yeah, looking good. Right, so let's uh, move on from the old and go on to the new joinery to plasma cutting that contrast between old and new is kind of uh, what this uh, building's all about really we got the round and the square and the the uh, traditional sort of uh, joinery and stuff and then um, and then we got uh, you know we're actually using it for quite advanced sort of uh, using some advanced technology and stuff in here you know, so it's all about that uh, combining old with the new, so I think, you know, uh, it's going to look quite cool. You want to come in, big girl? Yeah? Alright, yeah, hang on then. The cat's knocking at the door. Come on then. Oh, no, the phone's going off. Oh dear. There she is, look. 
<laughs> she comes and knocks for me. I know, big girl. I know. I know. <laughs> Isn't she adorable, eh? Aren't you adorable? You came and knocked for me, didn't you? Right, it's gonna get loud and smoky in here. She can't stay in here, okay? Because you're too precious. Right, I decided uh, not to nest them together because I can make better use of this piece of steel if I don't. So I'm just going to cut one out at a time. Yeah, came out quite well. Pleased with that. Put some holes in them. They all look nice. That's quite cool, it? Almost looks blacksmithy. There we go. Amazing what you can do with the plasma cutter. <laughs> I'm well pleased with them. Came out great. Get them fitted. Yeah, I was going to put those side ones straight, that was my original idea, but I decided they look better at an angle. So I went with that. This one's got a curve to it, so I've put a little bend in it. The screws should pull it around a bit. That looks great. Right, so uh, just made another piece to fit in there. Butt joint again. Um, I am contemplating putting a plate on this as well. See, double fold that over like that. And stay now, because I'd already rounded over that uh, joint, which is a bit of a mistake, really, I've rounded over this one as well so they show a, you know, a purposeful join. I think that looks quite nice. I might put one of those plates over it anyway, yet, yeah, I haven't decided. Right, you're looking really good. So that's worked out lovely. 
Really nice, really pleased with it. I've got to hold the camera at a certain point so I get the right light. But yeah, so it's ready for the glass to go in now. Right, right, I'm getting there. So I've just done that again here. So this will all be plastered in. We'll come round, plaster that, put some uh, uh, like nails in here for it to bond onto. But yeah, sorted. Just need to do some sides. And then this one's done. It's all done and uh, looking lovely in the evening sun. So the goal tomorrow is just a lot of uh, tidying up, get the stickers off, clean the windows, all that good stuff and uh, generally tidy up in there. Let's go and have a look inside. Yeah, I reckon that turned out great. Ah, lovely. Lovely and bright. The other aspect of having windows in, of course, means it suddenly feels really secure and quiet, which is nice too. But yeah, bit of destruction in here. So yeah, all day tomorrow, it's going to be tidying, cleaning windows, stickers off, get everything sorted out. And uh, yeah, still lots and lots to do on the building, but slowly but surely plodding along and getting there with it. But yeah, that is a pretty major milestone, getting all these windows in. Yeah, very, very pleased. Yeah, anyway, carry on tomorrow, get tidied up. Right, windows are mostly clean. As clean as I'm going to get them because I don't much like cleaning windows and look how lovely and bright it is in it yeah really good oh and I kind of cleaned up the workshop as well yeah pretty much sorted now still tripping over airlines that's another job he's doing yeah how good is that well pleased so, yeah a little bit of oil to put on there then we're done Right, let's switch to the other lens because this one's just too damaged, <laughs> unfortunately. So, I might try and fix that. But yeah. Never mind. Right, I am going to call that good, I think. Looks good, right? Yeah, I am well pleased with that. Came out really nice. Almost forgot to show you the finished outside. Right, let's go and have a look. So I put a coat of treatment on it just to protect it. It'll blend in and go a bit grey, but it matches the others now. Yeah, looking good, right? I think it looks lovely. God, looking right into the sun. Anyway, that's going to conclude this video. Big success. Still lots to do, whole coat of plaster, finish the roof, loads, loads of jobs, little jobs left to do, but we're one step closer. So. I'll tell you what, this is just fantastic. Video done, video sorted, windows in, workshop tidy, in here, making stuff with my hands, what it's all about. Yeah, I'm so pleased. Just working on the wind turbine for the evening. The wind turbine is an evening project. Um, yeah, because I've got too much going on in the normal sort of working day. So the wind turbine is the evening project. Yeah, just enjoying my workshop and the new windows. Okay. It's a sighting. Do me David Attenborough voice. Because that is a sighting. of a big tiger so I thought I'd uh, just end the video with a few nice drone shots of the completed work obviously the building's not finished you can see that the roof has still got some work I'll need to trim back all the liner there's still a bit of turf to do there's a whole coat of plaster for the top floor there's just little jobs to do everywhere 
because this is a very large building really and it involves you know probably millions of little individual tasks so yeah it's still very much a construction site and still very much under construction but it's another step closer and the windows are a big big milestone it was a really big challenge filming this video because of the light trying to film from outside uh, sorry from inside looking out of a window is really difficult and then i had a scratch scratches on my lens from the plasma cutter but yeah it was very difficult but we pushed on and it's really it worked out really well and uh, all the wood is milled myself and the glass was custom cut to size based on some drawings i sent to a company which which even just uh well about six months ago i wouldn't have been able to do that because i've only been learning that software in the last sort of six months or so and it's an incredible tool yeah i am just really really happy to have it sealed off and i'm just really enjoying being in there but I really do need to just keep at it, just keep plodding on and just get it done. But it's getting to that stage in the building where it's uh, it's getting difficult to, to just keep going with it. But I will, I'll get it finished. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a, a, a big boost in my morale getting this, uh, this major milestone of the windows in. So anyway, that's going to conclude the video. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you very much for watching.